This video will help you quickly get started using Codex to create better user manuals in less time and for lower cost than with word processing or desktop publishing software. Creating a document with Codex is a three-step process. The first step is to create topics. A topic consists of a heading and one or more paragraphs, including lists, tables, images, or equations. To create a topic, click New Topic. The easiest topic type to work with is the default named simply Topic. The topic title is the heading that will appear in your document. Next, type your paragraph text. Use the element library to drag and drop lists or tables into your topic. And use the toolbox to edit your tables. To insert an image, click Insert Image and select the image file. Once you've created all the topics for your document, the next step is to create a map that links all these topics together. To create a map, click New Map. Again, the easiest map type to work with is the default, named simply Map. The map title is the title of your document and the references are the links to all of your topics. At first, the map contains a flat list of links to your topics. To organize them into a document structure, simply drag and drop them into position. You can also drag and drop additional topic links into your map from any file browser. You can reference the same topics from different maps. This lets you share content between multiple documents instead of copying and pasting. Once your map is done, the final step is to publish your document to a presentation format like PDF. You do this using a third-party application, in this example, the XML Mind XSL Utility. Simply select your map file, choose one or more output formats under DITA, set the output file name, and click Convert. That covers the basics for creating great documents in Codex. Create your topics, create a map, then publish. To learn more, check out our other videos at codex.ca.